you may have the belief that you need to meditate a certain way or for long periods of hours to truly be spiritual or become the enlightened being that you're seeking to become. Well, I've got a secret for you. All of that is old, outdated, limited ways of thinking. The frequency on the planet now is such that you are you have just such an easy access to the totality of your being, the truth of who you are, which is an aspect of source. Just simply having an experience as being cut off and being separate. So we don't need to go down these old belief systems where we have to act a certain way and we have to meditate for ungodly hours to be able to connect with the truth of who you are. The truth is you are connected right now as we speak, as I sit here and I speak to you, you are connected. You are connected to your multidimensional self. You're connected to your guides. You're connected to your higher self. You just have made a choice, be it subconsciously, to appear as though you're not. Okay, so again, we have these feelings like we have to go do something in order to reconnect. And all we need to do is really dismantle these beliefs that we've picked up along the way through our lives to tell us that we're this only this human being. Okay, that's where you start, right? And you don't need to go in. You don't need to run off to a retreat. You don't need to run off to a sacred site. You don't need to be in a certain type of energy. You don't have to be around certain kind of people. Everything that you have, everything that you seek, everything you're looking for is already within you. You just need to, again, start to shed those beliefs that tell you that you're something that you're not, which is solely a human being. This is just an experience that you're having. So how do we start to shed these limiting beliefs? Well, what I tell the clients that I work with is that throughout your day, you just have to remind yourself that you're having an experience. Remind yourself that you are multidimensional. Remind yourself that you have the ability to perceive that connection in any given moment. You just have to be aware of the fact that you can, right? And breath work and even meditation really helps to do that. Now, again, I bring up meditation. You don't have to meditate for hours on end. You could get to the point where you're able to meditate for a few moments. You could close your eyes, take a few deep breaths and reconnect with your inner being. That simple, that quick. Can you imagine how powerful that would be if you remembered to do that multiple times throughout your day instead of having to sit and be in resistance trying to meditate for an hour or two or three hours? We can do this in little spurts throughout the day that's going to reconnect you with your body. The body is the bridge between your mind and between your soul. So when you can bring it back in here, you are reminding yourself, you're remembering, you're actually feeling and touching that connection with your divine self. So the old paradigm of having to meditate for hours and hours and hours, we could really throw that out the window. We know that we are fully connected. And you know this because you are experiencing synchronicities throughout your day. Maybe you're seeing synchronistic numbers, license plates. Maybe you're seeing it on the clock. Maybe you're hearing lyrics in songs or some sort of a message in a song, a synchronicity. Again, these are reminders throughout your day that you are connected already. You don't need to go out and plan all of these things so that you can get connected, so that you can be spiritual. You are already a being of light, having an experience. I'm going to say that again, having an experience as a human which in this experience, it's set up so that we could experience being separated. That's an illusion. You are not separated. These synchronicities remind you of that throughout your day. And if you take the step to remember consciously that you are a multidimensional being, that you are an aspect of source, here having a physical experience, you could bring it back into the body with a simple breath or two or five throughout your day and reconnect with your divine energy flow. If you do that day in, day out, you're, something interesting is going to happen. You're going to find that your energy is a lot more stable. You're no longer wobbling like you used to. When you get triggered, maybe it would knock you out of alignment. You'd feel really down. You'd feel anxious, stressed, even depressed. 
when you can reconnect in just with the knowing, with the thought, I am connected in this moment, I am connected always, you just sync back up with that knowing and you breathe it into your heart, you breathe into your body and you feel that deep, deep down. You're going to notice that your anxiety and your stress shifts. It seems to start to melt away. You become less tense. You become more fluid. You become more in the flow. You don't have to wait for a two hour period of meditation to be able to do that. You could do that in little bits throughout your day. It maintains a more stable energetic flow, a more stable remembering of your connection throughout the day instead of waiting and putting it off for a period, a chunk of time where you're going to dedicate that to be connected. We do it throughout the day in little bitty pieces. Make yourself a note. Put a reminder on your phone. Remember who you are. You're a multidimensional energetic being, an aspect of source who is always connected and breathe it in. If you start to get wound up again, have the awareness to hit the pause button and breathe it into the body. That will realign you in that moment. You can go about your day and you're going to realize that your days are becoming more fluid. They're becoming more productive. They're being coming more energetic. You have more motivation. You're getting more stuff done. Okay, You're not putting your spiritual practices off to an hour or two window Okay, and if you want to meditate for long periods of time, absolutely do that. You can do that. You can find a deeper state of presence. You could get a deeper connection. That is absolutely fantastic. But in my experience and the experience with my clients and the people that I work with, it is so much more beneficial to remember to focus, even if you're just adding this to your longer periods of meditation, to focus inward and re establish that knowing that you are an aspect of source and that you are always connected and doing that throughout your day. That is going to take these days that go like this and it's going to make them more stable. You're going to be more aligned. You're going to be more anchored. You're going to feel more energetic and you're just going to feel more stable. You don't have to go off and do all of these things that we consider spiritual. You don't have to mess with your diet you know, if your body is telling you the foods you're eating feel a little bit off, feel a little bit weird, you can adjust it. Be in tune with what your body's telling you, not what somebody says you should be doing. Somebody says you need to be meditating for three hours a day. You don't You don't have to, if it doesn't resonate with you, you don't have to do that. You don't have to do certain things that others are telling you. That is based on their beliefs, okay? You can shed those limiting beliefs you don't have to inherit those. You don't have to accept those as truth. You could connect in here and you can experience your truth, which is knowing that you are already connected. Your guides are waiting for you. Your higher self is there. Your ET guides, they're all around you, already connected to you. They are sending you messages throughout the day. Maybe you're not perceiving them because you have this belief that you're not connected. So bring it in throughout your day multiple times. Put a note on your desk again. Put a reminder on your phone. Do it every hour. Do it every couple of hours. I am a multidimensional being. I am an aspect of source that is fully connected. If you are an aspect of source, you can't not be connected. You're always connected. So many people come to me and say, I'm not connected I want to connect with my guides. You are connected to your guides. You can't not be. You're just not perceiving that because you have beliefs in the way. And a lot of those beliefs are, I need to conduct myself a certain way or do certain activities or go to certain retreats and go to certain locations to be able to do this. You do not have to do this. Your guides are around you. They will hold the space. They will create a frequency that will allow you to experience the fact that you are already connected. You just have to be aware and remember that you have the power, you have the ability, you have the choice to be able to take a few moments throughout your day to bring it in here with a breath and feel the truth 
of who you really are. Please like and subscribe if this video resonated with you. Watch this one next. Thank you so much.